Hello guys, welcome again. So this is um, demonstration to make the garlic ginger potion version 2. Um, I had a lot of complaints last time because I didn't do this thing in English. So this um, attempt to do this thing in English with some improvements. Okay, so the ingredients. Uh, we have five ingredients. Uh, the first one is garlic, second is ginger, third is lemon, then we also have apple cider vinegar, and also honey. Right, so next, the method or the recipe uh, would be using the formula 1, 1, 1, 1, 3. So uh, it means that uh, we use one part of garlic juice, one part of ginger juice, one part of lemon juice, and one part of apple cider vinegar. Um, so all of this we will simmer until it uh, decreases to three parts. And then we wait until it cools down before we add the three parts of honey. Okay, the equipment that we need, um, one is the juicer, just a cheap one, you can use any cheap juicer, um, and then um, the pot, stirrer, and some bottles. So this bottle is to keep uh, the product that, uh, that we would get at the end. This, uh, this thing should be enough to, um, for you to consume in one month. And one thing we notice is that all of the equipment are non-metallic. Okay, first, we make the garlic juice. This is the, I mean, one of the most um, frequently asked question. How do we make garlic juice? Some people say that we add water and we um, blend, then we, um, what do you call that, we do something to get the juice. Uh, actually, we have a very simple way uh, without needing to add any water at all. So we just use um, this juicer. So here we just add um, garlic into the, the juicer. Okay, and now I turn on the um, the juicer. Okay, so this is the garlic juice after we have done um, juicing it. So we see um, the juicer would separate the juice from the um, from the what from from the waste. Okay. And here, from, from that one bowl just now, we are able to get uh, actually more than 200 milliliters of um, garlic juice. So for today, let's try um, a 200 milliliter um, recipe so that all of, all of the parts will be 200 milliliters. So now we will put this thing um, into the pot. Okay, and then we will do the same thing for ginger. Okay, for ginger juice, uh, just some note. Uh, ginger is um, highly fibrous, so if you juice it, um, the fiber might, uh, might clog the juicer, so you might have to clean it up uh, several times. So let's see.
see how hard I had to push the uh, this thing compared to the garlic one that we did just now. So now let's clean up the the juicer first before I add um, new ones. Okay, so that is our garlic juice. No, sorry, that is our ginger juice. Uh, so I'm mixing this thing inside our pot. So next we'll do the um, lemon juice. Okay, so now this for the lemon juice. This one is already uh, peeled and cut so that I can easily put it inside the juicer. Okay, so this is our lemon juice, so let's add it to our pot. Okay, so this is the three parts, alright? And since the formula is four parts, simmer down to three parts. So let's take a um, uh, measurement right now for the three parts. So that is the, that is the height which we want to simmer down to okay before before we add the fourth part which is the apple cider vinegar so just remember that um, that level so it's okay so the fourth part is the apple cider vinegar i usually use bread uh, apple cider vinegar so this one comes with or not comes with uh, it is with the mother but the mother is 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 the um, the drag that you see at the bottom of the bottle. So if you uh, that is the good one or uh, the good thing So make sure that we have that uh, By shaking the bottle before we pour it into our uh, pot okay. okay, so you see that it settles very quickly. So before you pour it just shake it uh, first So let's pour it immediately. Okay, done. Okay, so that is our four part mixture ready to simmer. Okay, so now we have started to um, to simmer the mixture. So put the pot on the smallest fire or the smallest flame that your that your stove can can do. Um, this one would take about forty minutes to one hour. Uh, just a precaution. Close all your doors to your rooms inside your house because your house is going to I mean it's going to smell okay so let's leave this thing simmering on its own for about 40 minutes to an hour so you can come back after after that much time it is simmering with a low fire or low flame Okay, it has been 45 minutes, so um, 
we see that it has gotten down to the three parts level that we have indicated just now. So now we can turn off the flame. So let this thing cool down. Uh, I'm not sure how many hours, just let it cool down to room temperature before we add honey to it. Okay, welcome back. Uh, so now the mixture is already cool. So now let's add some honey. So I will add um, three cups of this honey. Let's still and see what happens. So it turns into that color, I'm not sure it is, a bit brown, some people told me they got it a bit green, so I don't know, I guess if you put in the right ingredients, whatever you get, that's what you're going to get. Okay, anyhow, um, I'm going to add some more honey, but uh, I'll just add it right here. So how are you going to take this uh, each morning before you take anything? Um, drink this, how much? Um, as much as this spoon. Okay, this is a soup spoon. I think you, you can get this thing at uh, Chinese shops. Chinese shops, sorry. Okay, and you can keep this uh, portion or mixture in the fridge. Okay, I guess that's all. Thank you very much. Um, happy experimenting.